What's up, my people? How on a day? What's in the happen? What's in the sub? Welcome back to our channel. Okay, guys, here we've got Whiskey, Brunner Boy, Thames, Femi Kuti, um, Femi Kuti's son, that's Madi Kuti. Congratulations to all of them, by the way, because they got nominated for the Grammys. In fact, Whiskey himself got nominated twice, made in Lagos, and Essence. Are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Essence and the album, you know, made in Lagos um, album. Congratulations to Whiskey in two categories um, best global music album and best global music performance. Wow. Can you imagine? Femi Kuti as well, twice, best um, global music album and best global music performance. Who do you think will win? Now, Bonner Boy's name appeared there, but it's Angelic Kijo featuring Bonner Boy. I mean, you know, Bonner Boy is still the same thing. Bonner Boy got nominated three times. This is going to be the third time in three years. Nigerian artists, they're doing a great job. No doubt about that. We don't even have to question that. Now, I've seen in the comment section where people say, oh, you know, Femi Kuti, I don't know who listens to this. I listen to Femi Kuti's song and his song is global. You know, yes, the dad has done the job, you know, in the past to help them put it, you know, on the world map. But the kids are really, really trying. Even Sean Kuti, I love Sean Kuti's music, but the son, Made Kuti, I'm not a fan of his music or his songs. He's a talented, you know, artist, actually. You know, I'm just not a fan. Of his style of music and here is what Nio said about essence he said that i wish i was the writer of essence wow essence is that good can you imagine let me read exactly what he said he said um it's one of those records that makes sense they could run it back 17 times and you ain't gonna say nothing you are just gonna let it happen i did have thought of it first he said i met him once real quick you he, he wouldn't remember but i'm super proud of that dude yeah we know you're trying to be modest but whiskey will remember trust me <laughs> uh for making the moves that he's making he's one of the new generation that i can genuinely say i respect wow <laughs> big up next one here leo that silver says we need a Whiskey, Davido, and Bonner Boy joint project to unite all the youth in 2023. I'm sure against the election, even if it's a uh, three tracks. It's easy to say, but it's not good for business. It's not good right now. It's not good for business. They are all in their prime. Allow them enjoy it. It's not gonna work except you understand showbiz how it works you will probably find it hard to understand what i'm trying to say you know but yeah <laughs> and here we have fire boy fire boy everyone is going to usa i'm talking about nigerian artists everybody wants to tour usa even though they are going to perform in um, europe and other countries they still want to perform or tour us People like Bella Shimoda, I could like even Pokoli, that's a dancer, you know, um, Fireboy, Rema, the list goes on. And the acceptance is amazing. I'm thinking right now, it seems like I'm, USA is taking that spot from UK. They can never, yes, those in UK, I know you will never accept, but this is how it was back then when uk started accepting nigerian um, songs and appreciating um, our crafts and our artists so usa now they are doing almost exactly the same thing i don't know but yeah let us move straight to the next one here we have kiss daniel kiss daniel just released an album did you know about that did you hear about the album well I didn't, I just stumbled on it yesterday. As good as this guy is, I keep wondering, is it the management? Although I've talked to some professionals and they said it's actually the management though. That's story for another day. And again, Kiss Daniel's song tops 
Audio Mac most streamed Afrobeat songs for this week. Look at one, two, three, all the songs, no bad songs, as good as it is. You still wonder why, what is going on? Well, like I said, that story for another day. Moving on to the next news. Here we have the video. Speaking about scammers here. Isn't it crazy that we kept talking about scammers, scammers, scammers? December is here. The festive period is here. December is coming, you know. So you, you've got to understand. These scammers, what they do is, you know, le let me read this. Let me read this. This whole David Doe 50 million Naira thing. NCC actually released a statement, right? Now, this is what they do. You can see David o airtime and data giveaway. <laughs> which went viral claiming that davido is giving out free 5k airtime and 10 gigabyte internet data of all networks to celebrate his birthday in the advertoria the general public is urged to hurry and get a gift by clicking on the links that supposedly redirect them to network sites where they will be credited with airtime and data this is a scam take note of that scammers will take advantage of everything around them you have to keep educating yourself keep yourself up to date so that when you encounter something like this you already know that is important isn't it yes i agree it's important but it's your money it's not going to affect me if you don't listen it's your money well still on david Doe's 250 million naira donation Guess what? The Ogun monarch begs Davido to fund out of school children education. I don't get it. These orbers have connections. They, they know House of Reps. They know senators. Is this 250 million? Because we know to you guys, 250 million naira is very small for you guys to embezzle. You guys embezzle it normal, normal. Why is the video 250 million naira a big deal to you? Like, why is everybody trying to dissect, divide the money, and uh, teach the video how to spend the money? I don't understand do these people. What am I trying to say? You guys have connections to politicians, big politicians. Why don't you use it? Why is the video 250 million naira? Why is it the like these people they have no shame they have no shame moving on to the next news here we have sunday Igboho. this is sad and i'm sure a lot of yorubas are not happy about this sunday Igbo under extradition procedure back to nigeria so the federal government they're trying to send sunday Igboho back to nigeria and it seems like it's working i remember saying this truly they are yorubas in Benin Republic, I think we discussed this, you know, in the group back then, you know, when it was still very serious. I said, truly, Benin Republic has Yorubas in there, a lot of Yorubas, right? And that's why Yorubas were confident, like, oh, the, the law is going to favor us there. But Yorubas, I'm sorry, because Kotonou itself depends solely on Nigeria's economy. They depend solely on it. Even their schools, their universities, most of their students are Nigerians. The, uh, the expensive schools there, most of their students are Nigerians. And during school session, the traders, the businessmen and women uh, make more profit because they now have Nigerian students that are rich, ready to spend money, ready to buy stuff. And immediately the student leaves for holiday or vacation. No profit again. And I'm just talking about the school part. I'm not even talking about other areas, you know. I'm just the school part alone. So you can see, more like these people depend solely. You know, I, I wouldn't have used solely, but it's like, yeah, more like it, you know, on Nigeria's economy. And that is what is going on. So if Wari sneeze, they will shake their legs. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not surprised a bit at all. Oh, are you surprised? Okay, guys, let us move straight to the next news. Here we have Baba Sui. Those of you that watch it, that's why I, I see watching my videos every day will help. I'm talking about the real fans, by the way. It is not the um, the Ashawo fans. <laughs> Those who jump around, you know. I'm talking about the real fans. The reason why you need to watch the videos every day is because of something like this. Yesterday we talked about Baba Sui. Now, I said in the video that Baba Sui's kids said that it's the federal government that killed their father. Even before he died, 
they already said it, that if anything happens to their father, the federal government will be blamed. They blame the federal government, that's the NDLEA. I didn't re really say much, you know, on it because I was waiting for something like this. And guess what? The son said recently, my father never recovered from NDLEA ordeal. And they never paid him the money they owe him because they were supposed to compensate him. Now, the son said um, on Tuesday that his father did not recover from what he suffered in the hands of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency after he was accused of peddling drugs in 2011, which turned out to be false. The actor died on Monday at his house in the Korodu area of Lagos State after battling sickness. He was aged 63. Guys, the next one. Seriously, I saw this video of Bob Whiskey teaching his female fans how to, how to, oh my God. You understand? He was using banana, you understand, in his mouth and going back and forth and stuff like that. It was so disgusting. I feel like vomiting, guys. But I can't post the video here. You will have to send me a message on Instagram. Those of you that are yet to follow me, you can easily follow me and send a message and I will forward the video to you. But it's just disgusting. And I, I, again, I saw another video, which I'm not going to post here, of these guys on drugs. You know, they were all high, young guys, you know, high in the room. And they started misbehaving in the room. I'm sure most of them use Colorado. And again, there was another video I saw on social media where this students in school uniform proposed to this girl the lady is, is a muslim <laughs> he even has a job these days the job doesn't mean anything these girls are only jobs in fact those ones are the hot ones <laughs> here we have two-faced idibia now something happened yesterday it was in yesterday's news yes i said something about two-faced idibia calling out an instagram user this user said some things you know about his son or something the way he reacted i was so sure that this has nothing to do with love stuff or love emojis or saying something crazy you know or sexual um yeah i was so sure of that but guess what yes i was right because finally the mother of the child posted it on social media and she says this person went to post this comment on my son's page i don't look for trouble but when you mess with my kids you mess with the whole trailer park you will never know okay that is it and here this person that posted saying i was on the phone the other day and the person said to tell you to advise your mom to stop being a home wrecker i wonder why and two face continued here saying why 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 what type of adult will send nasty messages to a child unacceptable and i think it was the child who reached out and that's why it's so personal to two-faced i think the child literally saw it and be like dad look at what somebody said about mom <laughs> well two-faced again starts ranting on social media again after that right he said god go punish all of una we they call my wife name for this matter idiot who's the first person that you suspect let's be sincere you'll be like ah maybe this lady created an account just for that to blast barrel or to get at her guys what do you think about this? Two Face posted the wife's picture and said, My queen even mentioned an Edibia. So that's what is going on. A lot of people were saying it might be this lady, Annie Edibia, that's behind this. Annie Edibia behind this. What do you think? Honestly, I don't know. Moving on to the next news. Went to withdraw money at the ATM stand this evening. While 
I was at it, someone who I supposed wanted to withdraw asked if the other machine was working. I replied at him and that was all I remembered. When I got home, how the money I withdrew left my hands and how I got home, I don't know. You all be careful out there. Festive is coming. Diabolical people are at it again. These scammers now use charms. They know you're wise. They know they are in Nigeria, so they have to go extra miles. And again, this has been there for a long time. A lot of people don't know. And became serious now because, I mean, no jobs <laughs> in Nigeria. You know, people getting jobs, but it's very, very hard to make ends meet in Nigeria. So it has even increased. So be careful out there. When you're at the ATM stand, you have to be very careful. Don't reply anybody. Whoever asks you a question, just say, just nod your head. That's all you do. Yes or no. Yes, like this. No, like this. Just do that. You don't have to talk to them. And if they decide to get pissed or get angry, that's their own problem. Just be careful out there. And those, some of you that will be coming for um, Christmas, you also have to be careful. If you stay in US, UK, wherever you are in Europe, just have to be careful. Moving on to the next news, Tanya Omotayo called out this lady and some people said she might be a kleptomaniac. Well, let us read what she said. She said, if you are um, a store owner in Abuja, please beware of this lady. She even have her Instagram handle. My bank and the bank she used to create the fake alert have both confirmed it wasn't real. Where it was supposed to say our account name, she wrote our own name there, which she also misspelled. Um, this means the transaction was never made and she had the intention of stealing the clothes from the beginning. After which she also gave us a fake number that never connected. The name she gave was Fatima, which could also be false. It was an email receipt that she generated and edited to make it look like she had done the transaction. Due to this mess, kindly note that if you are in a rush and don't have the patience to wait for us to come from your transfer please pay with your card thank you and have a nice day they finally recovered the money and they said here i've gotten so many messages about this binta lady stealing from people and then calling her out on twitter several times but she has refused to stop binta's family has paid for her theft and again this trick is old like is is an old trick people have been doing it and i'm surprised that's why sometimes you just need to educate your workers i'm surprised that they still use this to do people sending fake alerts is old already you know a lot of people now know in abuja well i don't know i stay in lagos a lot of people in lagos now know i've done business with people where they will transfer money to me i know how to confirm it from my bank to be to be sure that this is legit Moving on to the next news, a married man who abandoned his girlfriend in Lagos hotel room and sneak into toilet to rape receptionist has been arrested by the Lagos State Police. Yes, uh, he actually went there to lodge with his girlfriend. I think the hotel uh, bill was um, 5000 This guy got out in the middle of the night by 12 or 1 and uh, followed this lady. Said he needed a towel. I think he asked for something and, and this lady was just about to go urinate you know and also after that i, th I think i to this guy and immediately this guy rushed into um the toilet threatened the lady said he's going to kill the lady if the lady refused him and what's the lady going to do she allowed him and in the morning the lady reported the case to her boss and the boss got this guy arrested can you imagine this guy still in the hotel room after doing that how do you that is the confidence for me hey 
you did that and you still went back into that hotel room to stay with your girlfriend they said the girlfriend didn't even know what happened she was shocked moving on to the next one there was no massacre at lekki togit Ensa's panel report is riddled with discrepancies lie lie mohammed lie mohammed that's enough moving on i don't know what is going on what's this whole thing about um american passport and nigerian passport you can see here you know this big brother ninja your faves you know posting blue passport boys on social media and uh, there's another gang here green passport boys what is the what's wrong with these people let's watch hey 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 the bpb boys from bbn Blue passport boys, baby. Blue passport boys, baby. <laughs> Blue passport don't be your mates. Choke. Now your mates, choke. 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 Now they are mates. Choke. Choke. Don't be your mates. Choke. 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 Uh huh. <laughs> Coming soon. Watch out. Yes. Stay tuned. Coming soon, baby. <laughs> um, I was surfing the internet and I saw something called I don't know Blue passport boys. Yeah. So I'm here to introduce you to the one and only the Greenland. <laughs> The ginger gang, the green passport boys. Let's go, Gigi. Why? 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 Why the green boys? Eh? Green passport yeah, boys. I got a green passport. Where's the passport? It's in the green passport bag. So what it is, bro? Yeah, my name is. I'm wearing a green shirt. So green passport boys. This is really, really sad. Two women arrested in a Boeing state for allegedly stealing a set of twins and attempting to bring them to Lagos to sell them. It's Christmas. Christmas is coming. December. Really sad. People are desperate now. Let's watch. Madam, 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 what do you do inside that bag? Eh? Now, baby, who put that baby inside there? Who beat you? Now you put them. You put them. Can't they go where? Oh. Oh. Did they go give you anti? I bet they look that pretty for inside that bag. They look that pretty for inside that bag. They look that pretty for inside that bag. They look that pretty. Madam, now Percy, this kid is still there alive. He's still there alive. And you put that inside bag. I take pass all this. I take pass. You, even this one. The kid there too. I remove her, remove her, remove her from side back. Remove her from side back. Remove her from side back. Remove her. Remove her from side back. 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 Okay, guys, that is where I'm going to hold it. Thank you so much for watching. Today's question What do you think about this? From age 25, you should have a will. True or false? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Until we see you next time, peace.